Every two minutes, one woman dies of cervical cancer. In India itself, every year, there are 1.25 lakh women who suffer from cervical cancer. In India itself, every year, 75,000 women die of cervical cancer. So when there is a celebrity who is a social media sensation who fakes her demise and then claims it was to spread awareness for cervical cancer, what message does that, that, that send? We are talking about that here on Times Now. Arunil, my colleague, is joining me live on this broadcast as what Poonam Pandey did is being debated across the country. Lots of angry reactions also coming in. Arunil, stay with us. We have Subramaniam joining us from Chennai. Subramaniam, you are also following what's been happening. Uh, there are many callers who called us and said there should be an investigation and this was nothing but a publicity stunt. Doctors have cautioned celebrities from taking the stand. What's your take? She's been paid for this and then she wanted some... Uh, attention and that's why she has done this. The larger point is this is also sending wrong information to the teenagers. They might try to emulate her and this can land these you know these kids into a lot of other trouble. The third point is what is the media doing? Why can't they verify anything before reporting? Why did this get reported at the first place? All right, so we here at Times Now have been raising questions from the very beginning because, like we told you, we were verifying, but we also have Sriram joining us from Hyderabad. Uh, Sriram, lots of reactions coming in today, sense of shock and outrage. Many questioning this kind of a strategy, a PR strategy used to talk about cervical cancer. How much is too much? Your, your take on this entire Poonam Pandey saga. Any attention given to her by way of investigation or media coverage, media debate, etc., is only going to achieve her aim of getting publicity. Therefore, she should be ignored, blanked out from your network as well as others, and from social media platforms by all the followers. The, and till such time, she profusely and correctly apologizes for that maybe for a couple of months. Otherwise, you cannot have a law or investigation covering every stupid act by every stupid woman okay. or man. All right. I, I, think, I think we should restrain a little, shouldn't use any kind of that kind of language for anyone here. I mean, we, we will not allow that at times, but we respect your views, sir. You've been seeing these are callers coming in, speaking to us. But also, let's also play out that video that Poonam Pandey put out where she said... Yes, I faked my demise. I'm sorry I had to do it to spread awareness on cervical cancer. Listen in. Hi, everyone. It's Poonam. I'm sorry I've caused this tear and I'm sorry to those whom I have hurt. My intention? To shock everyone into the conversation that we are not talking enough about, which is cervical cancer. Yes. I faked my demise. Extreme, I know. But suddenly we all are talking about cervical cancer, aren't we? It's a disease that silently takes your life. And this disease needed the spotlight urgently. I'm proud of what my death news has been able to achieve. And for those who have questions for me, I will see you live on Hot to Fly. Shobha, one of our viewers, is also calling us from Mumbai. Shobha, what's your take on this entire saga that's now come in? Yes, I think it's extremely dis distasteful and disgraceful that she has used. She doesn't have cervical cancer. She doesn't know anybody. I don't think she knows anybody who has got cervical cancer. And how can she talk about all these things? And most importantly, where is her family? Has anybody gone and talked to her family? Did she tell them or did she just face this? And what are they going through? Does she know that what she has said has affected her family? I think you'll need to question her family. That hmm. is the most important thing. Hmm. She may have done this for money or God knows what or publicity. She could have done this on Facebook. She could have gone on social media. Hmm. She could have gone on YouTube. There are so many ways, Instagram, God knows what not okay. today. Okay. But could so, have done all this, but you need to question her family and where okay. are they in all this? Okay. That 
So Shobha from Mumbai there telling that there should be questions asked uh, to the family as well. Did they know about what she was doing? Raja Mohan also joining us. You've been watching the broadcast. You've been listening to the reactions that's coming in here on Times Now. What's your take? The media is playing into our hands. If our intention was mm. to gain publicity, I think there should be a total ban on even mentioning her name or even carrying the news that it was a fake news. Mm. So uh, it is just like with the airlines where somebody misbehaves, they are banned from boarding a plane. Mm. Mm. But the media's yeah. job is to spread awareness. Uh, Mr. Rajamohan, we really respect your views. Thank you for calling us. Kaushik is calling us from Shilchar. Kaushik, uh, you've been tracking the news. Poonam Pandey now comes out and says that she faked her demise because she needed to spread awareness on cervical cancer. Your take? It is really shocking. And uh, the slogan was there, hashtag one less worry for HPV. But that is not been, uh, these are really attention seeking things. I, I'm really very sick. Uh, there's, a, there's a mazak for all the cancer survey patients, mm. the people are facing. Mm. So I'm really shocked. But one thing, because my son also a journalist, I always said some scrutiny should be there of this type of fake news. <laughs> all right, Kaushik from Shilcha. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, Kaushik. Uh, you've, Arunil is joining us from Mumbai. Arunil, uh, you've been tracking the story, raising the questions from the very beginning, asking when the post itself was put out, there were questions raised immediately that why was it not done by the family. From the, from the word go, there were many who started asking, is this a PR stunt or not? And today, as we see what's happened, take us through what you're hearing around you. Take us through what you're hearing from Poonam Pandey's team at this point of time. Well, we at Times Now, uh, Binakshi, right from the start, we have been asking those pertinent questions. Like, if at all the death has happened, where are the mortal remains? Why isn't the family speaking out till now? The PR team also basically completely vanished after putting out uh, that one post mm. on uh, social media. Uh, Clearly, now also those similar pertinent questions need to be asked. Whether there should be some kind of a law enforcement agency to prevent anybody from indulging in such kind of a fake act. Yes, it was done for a noble cause, uh, but if at all anybody also follows suit, follows in the footsteps of uh, Poonam Pandey, it will be a very, very dangerous scenario in the future as well. So very, whether any action can be taken against Poonam Pandey or right. her marketing team hmm. uh, or the PR team which indulged in such kind of an act, that uh, only time will tell. Okay. However, many people are giving out very diverse opinions as well. Many people uh, we've been speaking with, they basically have been saying that this is completely uncalled for. She should not have done this. Many also feel that because she did this, an awareness about HPV right. vaccine uh, did happen. Hmm. So they are uh, praising that act, however, giving a caution saying that you can't uh, fake your own death, making a mockery of a cancer patient. All right, Arunil, this is Sagarika here and uh, more callers coming in here on the broadcast. BM Shetty is now joining us. Uh, BM Shetty, two sides of the spe spectrum. One side, you've been hearing our viewers constantly, 90%, more than 90% criticizing what Poonam Pandey has done, saying that you cannot fake your demise to spread awareness on cervical cancer. What's your take? Poonam Pandey ne sahi kiya. Poonam Poonam Pandey ne sahi kiya kyunki aajkal culture fail ho gaya. Abhi corona ka baat sab log TV dekh rahe hain, mobile dekh rahe hain. Sab chokri logon ko ye ke ke ek aala tay karne ka. Ye Poonam Pandey so acha kam kiya. Poonam Pandey mara nahi hai na, wo sab sab jine ka. Aaj ka culture hai na madam, bahut kharab ho gaya. Mere ko man mein dukh aata hai. मैं दस साल से टीवी नाइन देख रहा हूँ एक छोटा गांव में उड़ीपी में पूनम पांडे ने बहुत अच्छा काम किया और राइट और राइट कुछ भी प्रशांत ओके 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 शेट्टी जी शुक्रिया हमसे बात करने के लिए डाइवर्स ओपिनियंस कमिंग इन हियर इनटू आर न्यूज़ रूम्स प्रशांत जॉइनिंग अस फ्रॉम वडोदरा प्रश an uh, actress, particularly the attention seeker, she could have used a different method of conveying the message. This is definitely not. I'm really surprised by giving you uh, uh, giving that much media coverage. You're actually falling in the trap. That's all I have to say. All right, Prashant, respect your views there, but it's the job of the media to not just report a story, but also raise awareness. Ashish from Mumbai also joining us. Uh, Ashish, uh, your take on Poonam Pandey's attempt 
to spread awareness, as she calls, spread awareness on cervical cancer by faking her own demise. Well, unintentionally, I think this awareness is required for the society. Uh, if it has happened, it's for good. All right. So, Prashant, uh, I beg your pardon, Ashish, who's calling us from, Bunna, uh, from Mumbai, one of the first viewers to say that if this has happened and if it's spreading awareness, it's for good. Nagendra, from, Nagendra is also calling us this afternoon as we get you more and more voices from across the country as a debate has now erupted on the ethics or in the way a PR stunt was used to spread awareness on cervical cancer by faking, by a celebrity faking her own death. Nagendra, your take. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am speaking from Himachal Pradesh, Nagendra Singh Negi. Ma'am, it is a very obvious thing that there is no celebrity in this way. In the whole country, there is a place to spread the word and make a place to spread the word. Why should people be able to spread the word? Madam, these are the people of Poonam Pandey who won the World Cup in 2011 in the Cricket World Cup. We will talk about this topic, Nagendra Ji. I will talk about your mind. Thank you very much for your thoughts. Thank you very much for your thoughts. Thank you very much for your thoughts. We will respect your thoughts. And Radha is also calling us from Bangalore. Lots of diverse opinions coming in today on this particular story. Some saying that maybe it was, maybe the intent was right, but the way was wrong. Some saying that there should be an investigation. Some saying that this is absolutely unacceptable. Radha, what's your take? I was really shocked to hear that uh, she could give such a statement because of her reckless statements earlier. I really thought that, okay, good riddance. But now that she is faked her death, it is really very, I'm really very sorry that she's uh, causing a lot of agony to people who are really suffering from cervical cancer. Cancer is not to be trivialized. It has to be taken seriously and she being a woman cannot do such thing, madam. And the uh, entire her PR team plus her sister who said that she's dead, they have to be investigated and put behind bars. At least let them learn a lesson that they should not hurt people who are really suffering or who may suffer. And it is not a small disease, madam. Cervical cancer is really right. very dangerous. Right. And doctors are giving us advice. Right. And we are the, uh, now uh, giving uh, uh, vaccinations to children also regarding that. How can she be, how can she be so frivolously uh, popular? She is not a celebrity, madam. Don't call her celebrity. Mm. She is no more a celebrity. So Radha from Bangalore, thank you so much for calling us. Yo, you've been hearing the voices of viewers who are constantly calling in, expressing their anger, some calling for an investigation, some saying you cannot do, you cannot trivialize a disease that is as serious as cancer, some saying that, okay, this has raised awareness, so maybe it's not that bad.